403 forbidden errors can be frustrating to deal with, but in this video we'll cover three different options to fix the problem and get your site up and running. Don't forget to back up your site before doing anything just to be safe. Option number one, check your file permissions. The 403 forbidden error is the consequence of a server refusing a request due to the lack of proper permissions. Therefore, it makes sense to start your troubleshooting by checking whether your WordPress files have the correct permissions. In order to check this out, you'll need to use an FTP manager. Inside of public HTML, you'll find a lot of folders and files that represent the backbone of your WordPress website. Each of these will have its own permission settings with a numeric value that tells you exactly which interactions are enabled for which group of users. For example, every WordPress folder should have a setting of 0755 by default. If you see that they're not 0755 for the folders, you'll have to change that. And the same thing goes for individual files, but instead of 0755, it should be 0644. After correcting the file and folder permissions, it's time to check whether the 403 forbidden error has disappeared. If yes, then you're done, congratulations. But if not, let's check out option number two. Option number two, inspect your HT access file. It is possible for your HT access file to become corrupted, which in turn can cause a 403 forbidden error. The good news is that fixing a corrupted HT access file will only take you a couple of minutes. Make your way back to your root directory in your FTP client and find the HT access file. First, make a backup on your desktop and then go ahead and delete this file. Now go ahead and check your website again to see if the error is still there. If it is, then you can put your original HT access file back. However, if deleting the file does solve your issue, it was most likely corrupted, in which case we'll have to generate a new one. Head over to your WordPress dashboard, jump into settings and permalinks. Now you don't have to change anything, all you have to do is click the save changes button. By doing so, you've just created a new HT access file. If this option didn't work, then let's try option three. Deactivate and reactivate your plugins. All you have to do is deactivate your plugins all at once, and if the error disappears, then activate them one by one to find the culprit. As you can see, the 403 forbidden error is really more of a nuisance than something to be scared of. Chances are that if you ever run across this issue, you'll be able to fix it in a matter of minutes with a little tinkering. Have you ever run into the 403 forbidden error in one of your websites? If so, what did it take to fix it? Let us know in the comment section below. If this video helped you, then click the like button, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.